34 seconds of evil logos. Get it? Because the evil corporation in this movie is run by Rihanna? Paul's pervy point of view on pantyhose perspiring precipitation. Nothing against the acting talents of Wentworth Miller, but credit listings have less to do with abilities and more to do with star power. So my question is, was he really in the AND Credits League in 2010? Has he ever been in that league? Gotta say, this slow motion umbrella orgy while the credits play does nothing for nobody. I mean, I guess this does something for the guy who's walking in late and trying to situate his hot dog on the armrest while he positions the popcorn between his legs and hands a Diet Coke to his girlfriend. Then he totally forgets about the junior mints in his back pocket that he was shamed into buying by a pushy concessionist who wants to win a trip to Texas and spend a week on a dude ranch. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> Based on. <laughs> this attack happened in the first 30 seconds of the movie, but the slow motion made it 3 minutes and 20 seconds. As the zombie pandemic spreads, one thing they always do is politely turn off the lights on their way out. My name is Alice. We've met three times, Alice. You don't have to tell us your name every single time. There was an incident. A virus escaped. And everybody died. I'll tell you now, this opening narration really hits close to home, because I don't think anyone will ever forget that we all had to stay at home, socially distancing, and turn Nine Cat into a 100 million view YouTube video 10 years ago. Some of us got through it okay, but one out of every four views represents a needless death. The men responsible for this disaster took refuge underground and continued to experiment with the deadly T-virus. I know the Umbrella Corporation is barely less evil than Facebook, but what's the point in continuing to experiment with the T-virus if there's nobody to sell it to anymore? If nearly the entire world is 95% zombie, there's no market for this. You aren't looking for a cure, so what's the point? After watching Alien vs. Predator, I realize now that Paul W.S. Anderson must have gotten into filmmaking to fulfill his passion for digital blueprints of giant underground structures. Also, I'd love to see a documentary on how they hollowed out this much ground in Tokyo to create a structure this huge. Like, think of the lab Gus Fring gets those Germans to build underneath a laundromat in Better Call Saul. It's gotta be, like, at least twice the difficulty. How many have we lost? All of them. And you waited 30 minutes to tell me. Really no surprise at all, but Wesker would be amazing at CinemaSense. All these missing assholes miss like assholes. At least stormtroopers had to deal with the force. One of these guys' excuse. Hey boys, is that any way to treat a lady? If there are multiple Melans, why has only one of them been doing all the ass kicking so far? Like, I understand you might not want to send all your Melas at once, but why not send at least two Melas? One could wear a mask if you're worried about people knowing that you have clones. Tell security to flood the main entrance with nerve gas. Sir? Our men are still up there! Unnecessary killing of a henchman to show how disgustingly evil you are, cliche. Also, somehow, no one in this general area is temporarily deaf after having their co-workers' brains blown out right beside them. Any more questions? Did someone ask any questions? All security protocols are now in full effect. So, are you not going to flood the nerve gas anymore? You killed your security chief for even questioning it. Did you forget? Also, why weren't all the protocols in effect already? Alice has been killing all the guards for all the some time. Everything here looks so fake that it negates the cool shot the movie's trying to do. Also, everything in this shot is so Matrix Reloaded, I think I'm living in 2003 again, and I'm halfway expecting to run into a flash mob on my way out of the theater later. But when did she have time to get those? She got shot, fell to the ground, and never moved afterwards. Wesker's view may have been obstructed a little, but not can't see someone reaching down to pull bombs out of their skin-tight battle gear obstructed. Does everyone in this facility have medical trackers? How is this computer keeping up with the casualty count in real time? Wow, might be time to use those bombs that everyone has. Or you can continue shooting fruitlessly at this aircraft. That might work. Turbulent. 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 Man, I want to play in the shouts out terrible Ray Liotta movies. I wonder if there's an unlawful entry setting. Jeez, I understand self-destructing your evil underground lab, but did you have to take out 40 blocks of Tokyo to do it? Surely there was a better way to set up a self-destruct mechanism that could destroy but be eco-friendly. I get that all the Alice clones were creating a diversion, but the security system was picking them all up. So how did the real Alice get on this plane without anyone being made aware? Also, if she was on the plane this whole time, why did she wait for Wesker to blow up everything and get away? Any last words? This is the kind of unbelievable bullshit that happens that makes you want to leave the theater and watch I'm Still Here instead. You know, the movie where Joaquin Phoenix resurrects his career by being an asshole. Or wait, is that the movie where everybody plays Bob Dylan? I sure hope I don't have a serious man, a single man, a simple plan meltdown again. Hurts, doesn't it? Wesker was terrible at playing the Hurts donut joke when he was a kid and still hasn't learned a thing. Was this her plan all along? Distract Wesker enough so that the aircraft would crash into a mountain? She was playing a long con when the short con would have been more effective and but to fewer lives lost. Fucking hell, is Mila like Brad Pitt in World War Z? Wesker took away her powers. Where is Alice getting fuel for this plane? Also, where is Alice getting batteries and or charging ports to keep the camera running? Wouldn't that be the most important thing in a crisis such as this? This is almost a worse plot thread than the found footage camera guy who won't drop his fucking camera. I hope Claire and the others made it. Me too. I'm very hopeful that... Claire, was it? 
Made it. I've been just clinging on to hope ever since I watched Resident Evil Extinct Vegas with Zombie Birds. That one's my favorite film with that title. It sure is. Visually, I guess these helicopters parked here near the woods looks pretty cool. But why would you ever land them in this area around all these trees? You have this giant field with all this space and you landed here. What a bunch of jackasses. This is a world where there are so many helicopters and planes that I start to wonder if anyone even drove cars before the zombie outbreak. Was everyone just flying to work? Man, nothing I like more in my Resident Evil films than long shots of Alice reading a book by the ocean when thinking about what was and what could have been. It's really the small moments that make these films pop so well. Just because it's the apocalypse doesn't mean you can't be a little stylish with your video diary. I'm sure during her free time she's learned everything about shot composition from f-stops to rule thirds and not hiring Shia LaBeouf. F***ing why? Well, Sony, this is a weird place to expand the Spider-Verse but I'd watch arachno boobs in anything. The Nolan cut of insomnia is the craziest shit I've ever seen. I don't even know my name. And I don't even know how you got fully made up in a shampoo and shower on an abandoned airfield to get you from this to this. Perhaps you can cut me loose now. We should get to know each other a little better first. And currently Alice is flying a plane. You'd think Claire would want Alice to concentrate on that instead of attending to her personal needs. F***ing Claire. No signs of life. Not even the undead. Why make your video diary now when you haven't even checked all of Los Angeles yet? This is going to be inaccurate in mere seconds, and you just wasted some of your camera's battery life on this useless entry. This is how Alice tells these people she's going to land up here. Like, you couldn't just fly by in a safe manner? You had to recklessly put everyone's life in danger? What the f***? Plane flies out of view, making you think it's going to crash before pulling up just at the right moment cliche. This works and everybody survives this, but between this and the opening, I'm almost positive that no one on this set has a clue how planes function. <laughs> By the way, I know all the zombies can smell that sweet human flesh on the roof of this building. And they're doing that usual zombie thing where they collected a huge horde to take the humans down. But I think if I were a zombie, I'd have started making my way towards San Diego by now. Waiting for roof dinner is a bunch of bullsh**. You see? It's not a town. It's a ship. Seems like the Arcadia could have told people they were a ship when they were searching for survivors and giving people hope. You know, hey, this is what to look for when you try to find us. And here are our next few destinations, in case you miss us, since the coordinates we give might be way out of date by the time you arrive. And yes, it's really Umbrella, but that makes it even more of a sin that they'd make this ship so hard to find. Who got the torches all the way up on that level? And why would they need them on that level? There's six people staying here. Were you an actress? Came to Hollywood to live the dream, ended up waiting tables. So, no, then? You gotta love how there's an outcast table and a popular kid's table, even during the apocalypse. I know a way out of this place. We know you have blueprints of this entire prison tattooed on your body. We get it. You don't remember. It's coming back. Claire's unnecessary amnesia will keep amnesiaing until the movie thinks it's okay for her to bring memories back. Nothing that makes any sense. Translated, the memories she has totally make sense, but she doesn't want to say them out loud because that might be too helpful. We still have running water. Why does Luther have to accompany Alice to the shower? Why can't he just tell her, here's some towels, we only have cold water, and let her just go in the bathroom herself? Wasting water! Okay, so you're saying that Wendell was down here guarding Wentworth Miller a second ago. Then some zombies started breaking through a drain close by, but he managed to avoid any danger when he found a perfect peeping spot? Why does it take the zombies so long to attack? It couldn't have taken them very much time to break through the bathroom tile. Back in his hometown, they like to call this bathroom zombie silent but deadly. I'm your brother, remember? Jesus, there are like a hundred people still alive on Earth and somehow Claire runs into her brother. 16-wheeler, steel plate, water cannon, seats 20. The lock's jammed, but we can cut through it. So these assholes have been camped out in this prison for God knows how long, and they never once figured out there was another room here that might contain something useful. There's another two floors down there. And how far down is the armory? Didn't he say it was in the basement? I mean, the answer is two floors, but honestly, I'd probably make the same mistake too. I'm still sinning it though. Where do you think you're going? I was a swim champ back in high school. That's why I will immediately die when we get to the bottom of this thing, but it's awesome that I can put my swimming skills to hypothetical good use. It's hilarious that Bennett has an eye shield on while this guy cuts through the lock. Like, is he helping? Does he even need to be in the area while he does this? Tom Cruise trained for this stunt even though he wasn't in the movie. Rumor has it he wore a Mila Jovovich wig during his sessions. You gotta love it, no matter what the environment, the ghost zombie demon always finds a way to move quickly in the foreground or background of a scene. How in the f*** are they supposed to get back up there with all the weapons? I'm sure whatever the movie chooses to do will be both realistic and 100% foolproof. But Crystal, you were a swim champ in high school. There must be hundreds of them out there. We can't go back that way. So what, are you gonna find some magical exit out of the- Okay, so this is some sort of drain, but why would that lead down to this air conditioning duct in the armory? Furthermore, how did they even get into that air conditioning duct? Is there a ladder down here? And how do they fit in it? I'm pretty sure the movie doesn't show us how all this happened because even it doesn't know. 
Did you hear that? Yes, I did, but none of us should have, since you're way down near the bottom of the prison and the plane is on the goddamn roof. Unless you're telling me that air conditioning duct went up 60 floors or some <laughs> Either way, it's pretty sinful. But the others! The others! Writer room discussions during the final season of Lost somehow make their way into this movie. That's right, bitch! You. Celebrating a death, even Bennett's will still get you a sin, Luther. It's really kind of amazing and literally unbelievable that this ass can fly a plane. <laughs> yeah, gonna have to take one back for that. I never said I would sin myself for celebrating death. This thing has no power! We won't need power! But how did Chris know Alice was going to throw a detonator on top of the elevator? I had no time to discuss this plan while they were shooting zombies. Hold on! They all survived this. How's that cable not severed after that huge explosion on the rooftop? It was really kind of these zombies to part like the Red Sea so Alice could have a clear path to freedom. The Resident Evil zombies might be monsters, but they do play fair in battle. I can't do it. You can. Let's go! <laughs> I'll teach you about the sin of hesitation, dick. Who wouldn't see or hear this f***head coming up on them? Is peripheral vision not a thing in the Resident Evil universe? Claire will now do this really cool move where she'll slide, get the gun, shoot the axe man full of quarters, and drop him right there on the floor. Just too bad that we all know for a fact that this won't kill him, so it's somewhat cool and mostly worthless. I think I just figured out what I'm going to call my unproduced movie from the 90s. Claire survives this fight, but she unfortunately contracted syphilis, gonorrhea, and a strain of herpes, only found in Central American tamarind monkeys after sliding on this floor. Yeah, yeah, women getting wet is sexy and thrilling, but then you realize this is bathroom water. Not just any bathroom water, prison bathroom water. How's that boner working for you now? Having a head full of quarters. I bet Axeman's popular with the apartment complex on laundry day. Luther! How the f are there this many rocks falling out of the tunnel right now? That tunnel was pretty well hollowed out by the zombies earlier, right? Looks like Venom made it. Let's check inside. I don't know what came first, Resident Evil Afterlife or The Walking Dead, but I do know this reeks of Terminus bullshit. I don't know who's ripping off who, but someone's getting a sip. It's really nice of Umbrella to plant their logo seed every goddamn place they go, because how else would we know this is an evil facility? I mean, I already knew that because I've seen a movie before, but it doesn't make this discovery any less stupid. I remember them coming for us. Claire lines up the regaining of her memory perfectly with the remaining 20 minutes of film. Also, Claire finally remembers that Umbrella came to the beach to abduct them, and everybody got those tick spider things attached to their chests. Fine, if they did that to Claire, why didn't they take her too? Flashback shows her getting away without anyone attaching a control bot. So oh, it sounds like Claire spider and the whole amnesia thing was a lie told by the movie to withhold information from us that wasn't all that surprising it's a trap so let's walk right into this room even though as i just said it's a f***ing trap this white room contains no black curtains and is nowhere near the station i don't understand the design of this ipad thing a power button that encroaches on your screen space for no reason giant hunk of metal bordering on the screen on all sides with useless indentations and an overabundance of allen screws there's also a neat handle but i don't see why you would ever need it this thing looks futuristic but it's one of the silliest pieces of tech i've ever seen okay so there's blood on the floor here but when we saw the wide shot of the entire room the floor was completely unstained alice walks to the door where the blood leads without notifying the rest of the team or waiting for their help jesus she got lucky with the first room but she keeps going further into the ship without waiting for anyone what the fuck is she doing? You weren't too hard to find. Our satellite system is still operational. And there aren't too many people flying nowadays. And besides, I always knew you'd be drawn to your friends. So, was this a big ruse to get Alice on the Arcadia? Why didn't Wesker grab her way back at the airfield in Alaska? Or sh why not the prison? It's not like any of those assholes were going to beat him. This is a plan that's so smart, it's downright dumb. Loyalty. Highly overrated. Yeah, but you killed a dude for not being loyal enough when he reminded you that releasing nerve gas on your own men might not be in your best interest. Drop your guns. Bennett gets the drop on Alice? Really? This entire series has evolved the Alice character into this unbeatable badass, but she doesn't get wind of Bennett behind her. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to playing with your pretty face. Kim Coates, ladies and gentlemen. This might be the worst and most amazing line reading ever recorded in human history. I am sinning it, but I do love it so. Five scalpel knives stuck to the chair in this shot, and six of them stuck in the chair at the very next shot. And yes, there are seven of them in all, but the sixth knife hadn't landed yet before the seventh one came flying into the screen, and I noticed that kind of shit when I'm ignoring the plot. That's all well and good, but why does this make Zombie Dog any more dangerous? Well, isn't this one big family reunion? This somehow stops the Red Fields from shooting Wesker. They're just in shock that Wesker knows that they're siblings and he recognized them without turning. Why shoot when you can be amazed? I bet this was really cool in 3D. Oh, wait. I saw this in a movie theater. It wasn't really cool in 3D. Also, the distraction with the sunglasses works. 
Also, also, at this point, I gotta ask, why the sunglasses? It's not like your Cyclops and your eye lasers will melt Jean Grey. Wouldn't you want people to see those red eyes for the intimidation alone? This movie couldn't rip the Agent Smith character off more with Wesker, even if it had cast Hugo Weaving in the role. Also, the movie steals the Matrix scenes from Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. During that entire fight with Wesker and Claire and Chris, the movie forgot about Alice and the zombie dogs, and I guess this whole time they've all been watching the fight and not doing shit until the movie was ready for them. What? Why? Can't you just grab her and put her in the tube? I guess Kmart didn't have nearly the time Claire had with her amnesia. Funny how that amnesia sh** does and doesn't work. Alice shoots Wesker here and then decides, I guess he's dead, and doesn't fire about 80 more rolls of quarters into his body. At this point in the movie, isn't it time Wesker pays the toll? How can this movie not even make a f***ing ceiling look realistic? Tons of bullets to the body, but none to the head? Come on, guys. You have to follow your inner Miller's Crossing and put one in his brain. At least several into his brain. I just wanna go home. Kim Coates speaks for the entire audience. <laughs> These assholes shooting their tiny guns at this huge aircraft that's already 200 feet away. And how do they have any bullets left anyway? We find out in a few seconds that Alice put this self-destruct bomb on Wesker's aircraft. When does she have time to do that shit? Also, if Wesker can't die after having half his skull taken off and his chest full of lead, then what are the stakes exactly? Just an Alice Wesker loop for the next couple of films? Excitement? <laughs> Star power, bitches! If Luther is alive, why did it take him so long to kill that zombie that attacked him and rejoin the others? You're making it seem like he had a Gandalf vs. Balrog fight, and I'm not buying it. This is Arcadia, broadcasting on the emergency frequency. But they already have the recording to play, so why does Alice feel the need to say it herself? Is it vanity? I bet it's vanity. There is hope. And at least two more movies. What the f*** is up with these people? There's a fleet of black helicopters headed toward them and they're just wandering around shooting the breeze with each other. Believe me, I'm not complaining, but why does the helicopter goddess here have to wear a cleavage suit? Is it so we know she has one of those bugs on her chest? It looks like exposing people to the virus got a whole lot sexier. Oh yeah. You are gonna be in for the fight of your lives. Yeah, but aren't there 6,000 other planes with a ton of other soldiers on it headed towards the ship? I believe in Alice and the Redfields, but at some point, the sheer number of warriors you face has to count for something, right? In the afterlife, you'll be headed for serious strife. Sinners, go vows to our newest domain of nitpick delights and behold commercial sins. Oh, and subscribe immediately. So the order goes click, sub. Simple as that. Oh, Actually watch the video. Jesus, I guess I need to make a flowchart. Commercial sins! Go now. Answer the question, Claire. Talk to us. Come on, answer, answer the question. Don't be Come on, it's sure. easy. It's only one question. And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Where do you think you're going? I was a swim champ back in high school. And she's an acrobat, Ted. You killed the zombie Flanders. You was a zombie? You all right? What's happening, Luther? I'm sorry about the door. Sweet. Please. Where's Kim Young? Be gone! Luther! Luther! Gary? Where's everybody? Where did everybody go? <laughs>